What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another movie review. I'm Chase Lee, reviewing for DallasMovieScreenings.com, and the movie I want to take a look at right now is The Broken Hearts Gallery. Now, this one comes from TriStar and it is directed by Natalie Krinsky. After a breakup, a young woman decides to start a gallery where people can leave trinkets from past relationships. It runs at an hour and 48 minutes, and it's supposed to come out in theaters this Friday, September 11th, so regardless of what I'm gonna about to say in this review, if you want to check it out, <clears throat> in theaters, you can go ahead and just do that. But um, yeah, you know, going into this, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. I, I do love rom coms when they're done correctly because uh, they can be really um, just nice pieces of entertainment that make you laugh, that make you cry. You just have a fun time with the characters. And so, I never saw a trailer to this one. I knew Selena Gomez was behind it uh, in terms of like executive producing, but that was about it. And when th- movies were starting to come back into theaters, this one was advertised as like, oh, this one's going to be the first one back. Uh, but then, of course, uh, like the New Mutants, Bill and Ted, Tenet, they all c- kind of already came out. But if they did not come out, this was going to be the first one because they were advertising that as the first one to come out uh, after a long um, hiatus. And so I saw it. <clears throat> I got to tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. And... You know, with, like, rom-coms, some of them can be, like, super cheesy. Some of them, they're just so corny that you can't take them serious. Even if, like, they're goofy in nature and they're lighthearted, it's just, they're just really not for you. And I totally understand that. There's certain rom-coms that just don't hit it with me. And uh, I'll just be like, eh, was, well, okay. And then there's some of them that, you know, have, you know, like, this emotional through line to them. And you really care about the characters and their, their journey and their relationship. And this was one of them. I was, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. I really enjoyed this one. So if you're looking for a rom-com or something fresh within this genre, please give this one a watch. I recommend it. So let's dive into uh, uh, Natalie Krinsky. Uh, I've, I don't think I've ever heard of her. Uh, let me look her up in real time for you while I'm here. Um, Gossip Girl, Grey's Anatomy, 90210. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm not really um, familiar with how uh, she has written in the past or directed. But if this is her first one out of the gate, this was a fantastic job. There was a real sense of like what she was going for. And I think she nailed every single genre that she was trying to um, to tackle. This is a This is a really funny movie. There's a lot of fast jokes, a lot of... Uh, scenes that feel improv and you can feel the love and the warmth between all the actors. Like they just feel like they're having such a great time on set. And when they're saying all these lines, they just, there was something about it. They just felt there was a lightness to it. There was a freshness and it didn't feel like it was forcing a laugh upon you. They, they were earned laughs and it was, it was really funny in a lot of spots. And there was a lot of transitional stuff and you'll see that when you watch the movie, but uh, transitional stuff with people in front of a background that she used quite a bit to transition in between scenes. And when you see it on the surface, you're like, okay, that seems a little abrupt. It doesn't feel like it's going to flow well. But when you see it in the context of the film and the story, um, they're they're really funny interjections. And some of those are great trans- transitions to kind of lighten the mood a little bit, especially if something happens serious beforehand. And... Um, I think I think they work, and those are some of the funniest bits. Were just the very short, like ten to fifteen seconds of uh, transitions of people talking in front of a background. But once again, you'll see it uh, and you'll understand it in context. So I thought she really nailed the comedy aspect to it, and it really helps the um, the uh, hour and forty eight minute runtime too. It doesn't ever feel slow. It always just feels like it's going at a hundred miles per hour. But that's it's okay in this context of this film. Um, because uh, most of the time the jokes are exchanged between friends and uh, the relationships. And you can just definitely feel the, the chemistry bouncing off every single person in this film. And the, the comedy definitely helps that. It just feels like they're having a lot of fun. The drama stuff and the romance stuff I thought was also handled with such ease. Um, with these types of films, you need the most important thing you need for a rom-com, obviously, is chemistry between the romantic uh, relationship that we're following. So Geraldine uh, Viswanathan, uh, she is the actress in the film, the lead actress, and then Decree Montgomery, he's the lead actor in the film. Their chemistry is awesome. Like, they need to be in more movies together. Um, 
you know, her personality is very bubbly. She, uh, you know, is very funny. She deflects a lot with jokes, but there is a lot going on underneath that she, she hides from people. There's an emotional wall there that she doesn't let a lot of people through. Um, and you'll start to get to know a little bit more in, uh, uh, her and her family and just all that stuff. And you'll understand why she's the way she is, but she's a very warm personality. She's just someone that you want to hang out with. And she, she exudes that on screen tenfold. She is absolutely a delight uh, to follow as the lead in this film. As far as decree goes, he, he, you know, he's kind of laid back. He's kind of chill. He also has an emotional wall that's up. But he, there is a likability about him. It's not just because of his gorgeous blue eyes. Um, but he also, you know, he has that personality to where, yeah, he's a little rigid. He's a little rough around the edges. But when you get to know him, he's just fun to also be around. And so them coming together, having different personalities, when they uh, strike up a friendship and possibly a romance, it just makes sense. Opposites attract. They... They have a good time uh, with one another, even though they're so radically different. It just makes sense when you see it play out in the movie. Their romance is just, it's just sweet. It's loving. And you, I was kind of sad when the movie ends because you want to watch more. You want to watch more of their relationship, hanging out with their friends. You just want to be a part of their life because they're just so inviting and so warm to be a part of. So I thought the romance between both of them and the way Natalie kind of um, balanced the two of the comedy and the romance and the drama was really well done. It's hard to do that when you're when you have a scene and someone's making like a sex joke or something and then you transition to something pretty serious. That's really hard to do and I just thought the overall experience of the romance and the comedy Natalie Krinsky nailed it. Uh, with the screenplay as well, she's also the writer, but also directing and you know capturing this wonderful world with these wonderful people that we wanted to be a part of. So I thought she did a great job. Uh, speaking of the relationships and the friendships and stuff, the performances also really well done. Every single person in this movie feels like j- this. This was so easy for them. There was such ease and grace to their performance. It didn't feel like they were reading off the script. It felt like they were real life people spouting off this dialogue and you were just following their adventure and it didn't feel like anything was forced. It just, it, everything just felt so natural and organic. I loved everyone's performances, you know, with uh, decree and Geraldine as the, you know, romance leads to uh, Molly Gordon and like Philippa Sue as like um, uh, Geraldine's friends. It's just like, Everyone was such a delight to watch. Like you want, so like when the scenes would cut away from one group of people to the next, you're like, I really didn't care because I liked every single person that uh, Lucy, played by Geraldine, interacted with, or uh, her friends interacted with, or um, Decree and you know all of his friends. Like it just everyone just it just felt like they they've been doing this um, uh, movie for for season like like a season of a television show and like by the time you get to the eighth season they're just so great at their characters and the story like you just it's just so easy for them but this is just a movie though um but yeah i loved everyone's performances um breezy just really in the moment uh having fun um you know saying these lines that i think were primarily improv um and then also really bringing this kind of um emotional weight to it when the romance starts happening when she starts interacting with her friends on a serious level i just thought everyone did such a great job um there's really nothing more to discuss uh like i said earlier the hour and 48 minute runtime super breezy to watch it is it feels like something fresh that we've never seen before um and speaking of the actual plot and something we've never seen before i don't think i've ever seen a story like this where like, you know, someone has been broken up with and like they want to start their own kind of art gallery, but it's like trinkets from other relationships and stuff. I don't know. There's, there is kind of like a funny nature to it, you know, like, Oh, she's got like this tie or she's got like this, um, beaten up pillow from some, uh, person in her past relationship. But there's also some truth there where people, have a hard time letting go and that's really tough to do when you have been in a relationship for so long and you need to move on or you've been broken up with it's it's hard to do that and so 
letting go and taking that burden off your shoulders is also a very true thing that people go through. So the story itself, like, yeah, it's funny on on the surface and everything, but there is some meaning behind it and there's some truth to it on what people actually go through. And I think a lot of people will find that message and run with it. And they'll, they'll watch this movie and they'll be like, yeah, maybe I should let go certain things. Maybe not a past relationship, but just let go anything in my life that's been holding me down. And that's a great message to tell people. You know, it's PG-13. Teenagers are going to watch this. A great message to tell them. So I don't know what else to say. I I really enjoyed this one. I don't have any issues with it, but I will go as high as a, as a B-plus for this one. I will never get into the A-level unless I it really just, like, shoots through the roof. But I think... Listen, for something I thought was going to be corny and cheesy, this was a delight. I don't know what else to say. B+. Let me know down below what you thought of the Broken Hearts Gallery, Um, whether you loved it, you hated it. Even though I don't reply to all the comments, I do read them all. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can do just that. If you're more of an, uh, an audio person and you want these in podcast form, I have a podcast as well. The Real Me and Cole in the Movie Podcast um, feed on Spotify Anchor, CastBox, I'm all over the place. But that will do it for this review, guys, for DallasMovieScreenings.com. And tune in next time for whatever I review next. I will see you guys later.